everyone, I'm Debbie here and welcome to Sugar and Spice. And today's recipe is going to be chicken rolls. This chicken roll is not only tasty but it is also very sumptuous lunch box recipe. So let's start cooking. I've taken two cups of maida flour and half a cup of wheat flour which I've kneaded and I've added a tablespoon of oil on the top so that it doesn't develop any cracks. I've also taken three eggs, one large onion which I've chopped finely, one large tomato, 250 grams of boneless chicken strips and in this I have taken one teaspoon of red chili powder, quarter teaspoon of zira powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and half a teaspoon of pepper powder. I have taken one teaspoon of chicken masala, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and I have taken uh, bell peppers, red, yellow and green. I have almost taken uh, half of each of the bell pepper, all together maybe 100 grams and another 100 grams of sliced onions, salt and oil. I am going to add a tablespoon of oil and once this oil gets hot I am going to add my chopped onions. You can see that my onions are finely chopped since this reduces the cooking time. After sauteing for a minute on high flame I am now going to add in my chopped tomatoes. After sauteing them for a minute, I am going to add a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and keep stirring for another 2 to 3 minutes. Now I am going to add my spices. I just give it a good stir and also I will be adding my chicken strips. You can see that I have cut the chicken into long thin strips. Now after sauteing it for a minute I am going to add the chicken masala also. At this time, we can also add our salt. Salt is according to your taste and preference. Now I just give it a stir and then cover it and cook it for 2 minutes till the water starts oozing out from the chicken and then I, we will come back again. It's almost 2 minutes now and you can see that the chicken has started leaving out some water. So we'll just give it one more stir and cover and cook it. The cooking time will take at least another 10 to 12 minutes. It is getting cooked. Let us make small balls so that we can get our rotis ready for the Frankie. I'm just making small balls out of this. And then we can start rolling it. Just ensure that the rotis are thin so that you can get good flaky rolls. I have rolled my I have rolled it into a thin roti. Now let's just transfer it to a pan and just cook it like a normal roti. The only thing is you don't need to burn it. Just let it cook. After a minute I am just going to flip my roti. You can see that it's not completely cooked but it just started developing bubbles. 
this time I'm going to just roughly beat my eggs. Even as we are preparing these rotis, keep a watch on your chicken that is getting cooked. Stir it occasionally. Since we have not added any water, we don't want the chicken or the masalas to get burnt. Now that I have uh, beaten it well, I am just going to add a dash of salt. And then flip it and fold it over my roti. Just spread it so it's, it is completely covering one side. The reason we use the egg is because we don't want our chicken roll to become soggy once we have put all our masala and the stuffing. This will ensure that the roll is quite firm and it's also can be packed. You can take it as a lunch box also for your lunch box also. Now I can see that my omelette is getting a bit set. So I'm just going to flip it to the other side. This way my roti is also cooked. My egg is also cooked. And you can see. Now in the same way I'm going to prepare all my other rotis as well. Now let's just check. My chicken is well cooked and there is hardly any water in it. So now let's start assembling our chicken roll. I have made all my rotis and at the same time this has also cooled down a bit. Not entirely come down to room temperature. So now I am just going to arrange this. Just put my chicken. And then I'm going to use my bell peppers. This is according to your preference. You can use as much as you want. If you have pickled cucumbers, you can use them as well. That will also give a nice tangy taste to this. So the choice is absolutely left to you the way you want to load your chicken. So all I have to do is just give it a roll and then roll it and that's it. My chicken cutty roll is ready. I can just put a toothpick to it or I can just pack it and take it for lunch. So if you like this recipe, don't forget to give us a like, share and subscribe to Sugar and Spice. Bye.